It's been six years, uh, six of the best years of my life. My husband and I now have four grandchildren that I never would have seen before, and they get to know their grandma. And I make sure of that. It was right before my 50th birthday, and um, I was determined, you know, that I was gonna go into 50, um, doing just great. At the time, I was walking probably uh, 25 miles a week. Um, I was very active. Because of my family history, I thought, you know, something's telling me that I really need to get in there and get that colonoscopy. My first colonoscopy, they found uh, three polyps, two were precancerous, and I wasn't scheduled to go back uh, for three years. Well, over the course of the next few months, I started feeling really tired and short of breath. You know, I was back and forth to the doctor and I just knew something wasn't right. Although her doctors had told her that it wasn't uh, a real issue, uh, she became convinced that she needed to seek out physicians in, in a care situation that would look more closely at her personal signs and symptoms. I woke up from my uh, second colonoscopy. Um, my doctor told me, he said, uh, you're a very lucky woman. He said that it's a good thing that you trusted your gut and came in. I felt very relieved at that point. I wasn't, wasn't glad that I, you know, had cancer. But I was very relieved that uh, I trusted my gut. So the next step was to um, schedule an appointment with a surgeon. Um, that's when I saw Dr. Birnbaum. I think it's very good for patients to advocate for themselves. It is very good for someone who, like Karen who comes in with a list of questions, very organized thought process, and then it makes it a lot easier to answer the questions specifically. I think they welcomed my participation in my, my treatment. Um, it's very much a team effort at Siteman. She uh, put my mind at ease, she put my family's mind at ease. You know, I had the surgery and I, I did very well. I had a brief stay in the hospital and uh, I was back home again. Her original cancer was completely resected and um, she had a very good prognosis. There are clinical trials that are out there for patients even with good prognosis, they can participate within the trials. There was still this um, question in my mind as to um, whether or not, you know, why the cancer had been so aggressive in just five months time. I wanted someone to kind of put my mind at ease as to, is there something that I can do to prevent it from happening again? When she came to the Seidman Cancer Center at Barnes-Jewish St. Peter's Hospital, there was actually a clinical trial available for folks with an early stage uh, colon cancer diagnosis like Karen's. I like the idea that not only I was benefiting, but other people could benefit down the future. If, if we could learn something from my case, um, that would help other people. And I think that's one of the great advantages of uh, care at Seidman Cancer Center. The beauty of it was that she lives very near the hospital and was able to come into the hospital, get her chemotherapy, return to home, and work in our community. Although it was a scary experience, you know, kind of the thought of going in and having chemo, but the fact um, that everyone at Siteman was just so kind and um, helpful and comforting, not only to me, but to my family, it meant a lot. I can't say enough good things about the doctors and staff at Siteman Cancer Center. They um, have a lot of experience, um, cutting edge treatments, close to home treatment, that you can continue to work, that your family can be there to support you. People always told me how wonderful it was to be a grandma and I'm just so thankful that I'm here to enjoy them. Thanks to Siteman Cancer Center, um, I'm cancer free.